Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Myung Soo Jung from South Korea. I'm in charge of Korean financial service industry. Uh, today I'm here to talk about revolutionizing customer engagement in the insurance industry with AWS. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about what InsurTech is and how AWS can help. And then we will have a special presentation from Kyobo Rifle Planet. Kyobo Rifle Planet is the only digital native life insurance company in Korea. They will share their journey of building InsurTech on AWS. Uh, traditionally, the financial industry has been slower to adopt new technologies than other industries. It is especially true for insurance because insurance products have a long life cycle, so change is happening more gradually. But times are changing. Today's customers demand simpler or and more efficient insurance products and services. And digital native generation is becoming the primary customer base. In addition, new technologies like AI, blockchain, and big data are creating new possibilities. In the end, insurance industry is experiencing technological revolution. These changes have pushed the traditional insurance companies to modernize and giving birth to InsurTech. The InsurTech is a blend of insurance and technology that aims to make insurance industry more efficient and cost effective through IT innovation. However, implementing InsurTech in on-premises environment is challenging. It is hard to respond quickly to business requirements due to limited flexibility and agility. And it is also hard to keep up with rapidly changing market conditions. Oh, sorry, market conditions. And, but AWS can provide solutions to these challenges. With AWS, you can develop quickly and imp immediately implement uh, business requirements and customer feedbacks. And another challenge is handling sudden traffic spikes in on-premises environment. This requires flexible and agile architecture, which is difficult to implement in on-premise. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, this requires flexible and agile architecture, which is difficult to uh, achieve with traditional monolithic architecture. And to solve this, and microservice architecture, also known as MSA, is the most effective solution. And you can implement MSA very easily using AWS. So now, let me share a customer success story that demonstrates these AWS benefits. I am pleased to introduce Chris Shin, Chief Digital Strategy Officer of Global Life Planet, who will share his experience with us. Uh, please welcome him with a warm round of applause. Hello, guys. Um, thank you, Meng Su, for the introduction, and thank you, AWS team, for this opportunity for me to share our journey with the audience today. Hi, I'm Chris Shin from Kyobo Life Planet, currently serving as Chief Digital Strategy Officer. So Global Life Planet, it's been a decade since we've been established. We are a digital native life insurance in South Korea, and we've been paving the way for the last 11 years. And in the past year, we've grown about five times our premium income. And we are currently, we have a 50% market share of all the life insurance that are sold online. But um, we started out 10 years ago with a mission to disrupt the way people experience life insurance. And we are starting that with disrupting the traditional way of distributing the life insurance. So one of the biggest pain points for us is that we lack customer touch points. As an online e-commerce player, 
we need a lot of traffic in order to gather customers' digital footprints, and then the conversions are low. So we need to collect data, online behaviors, analyze it, extract insights, and then improve to our products and services. But we all know spending a lot of ad money to Google Ads is not sustainable. So one of our solutions was to build our own customer engagement platform. And that's where uh, this 365 planet came from. So basically what this is, is a pedometer. So people, users can come in, rack up their steps up to 200K per month, and they can collect nickel and dime every day. And as they interact with our app, we collect the data, analyze it, we give them small personalized nudges, such as bite-sized, healthcare, beauty, and of course, insurance-related contents, so that we can remind them that we're here, and this is an insurance app. So this platform we've launched uh, in August 2023, and within a year, we've, we've been able to gather 140K, and as of today, it's about 180K users, and it's keep growing. Now, it was rather an easy decision for us to build this customer engagement app centered around a pedometer because the concept of giving rewards of users' steps to generate traffic, that was a proven idea in the Korean market. So that was really easy. And then we started with the pedometer, and we're going to build up about healthcare services on top of that. Now, we all know we don't think about insurance every day, especially life insurance. When you think about it, there must be something bad happened, right? So, you know, some relatives you know, passed away or something. But um, so we were thinking, how can we stay relevant and be close to where the customers is? So that's why we built this engagement platform to be near them and, be, and capture their top of mind so that when time comes for them to buy a life insurance, we could be one of their few options. And I think it, it, it's working because about 15 to 20% of new businesses every month comes from this app. And I think people love it. And then we're, we're carefully thinking about our next steps. And I think, I believe, what customers want, expect from a life insurance app is something related to healthcare. So we are thinking hard on how we're gonna develop this platform so that we can add value to customer engagement that is exclusive to this app that you cannot get anywhere outside. So these are some of the functions that I mentioned. It's the pedometer. The catch is you have to come in every day. You have to clear the mission to go to the next mission. That's why we were able to create a lot of traffic with nickel and dimes. And the quizzes, the quiz is very interesting because it could be a content. We give them questions, and make them think about these issues, maybe social, social issues, health-related issues. But then at the same time, we can collect customers' preferences, lifestyle, and we collect the data behind the scene, we analyze it, and if the data accumulates enough, we're now building a psychological targeting model with that, and that's gonna come down the road. Please watch out for that. And then lastly, uh, so Kyobo Bookstore is, is almost like a Barnes and Nobles in Korea. It's one of the biggest offline bookstore chain. And with the rewards that's racked up with the steps, you can redeem to the bookstore points. So people love that. People love spending time in the bookstore, but not buy it, right? <laughs> so next, this is the customer composition. 
it's a little bit skew, skewed towards the younger uh, women under 30. And usually, normally, that's a little bit different from our policyholders. It's, it's more even between male and female. And about 65% of our users are active monthly interacting with our app. And as you can see, they open more than one time per month to collect their rewards. So I think it's working. Now, one of the reasons why we chose to work with AWS is that all these achievements would not be able to be possible without the help of AWS. So it's like myung -soo explained it to you before. You know, one of the two big reasons for working with AWS is the fast deployment and development, and then the flexible infrastructure. Now, we as a small digital player, having to compete with the incumbent giants, the Goliath, Goliath, we have to move fast, we have to be light, and we have to keep testing the market and serve better products and services in order to meet the customer's uh, needs. And then the flexible infrastructure. Oftentimes, we would run a marketing campaign. If something goes viral, they would come in simultaneously, right? And our on-premise server could not handle those instantaneous, simultaneous traffic. But after we start working with AWS, with the famous auto-scaling and the flexible cloud technology, we were able to serve our marketing campaign seamlessly. Now, this is our architecture that's on the cloud with AWS. And on the top right, you can see our data warehouse. That, that was our first um, workload, started with AWS. And then the second one on the, on the right is a 365 planet that I just explained. Now, working with AWS has been a great journey because financial company for us, like us, has a lot of challenges, especially in Korea. Because of the data security, it, it's really tough to use a public cloud-based IT systems. But with the help of uh, AWS, we were able to move from monolithic to microservices architecture where before, it, when it's monolithic, it's all tied together, so bundled up. So with single error and downturn, the whole system gets affected. But, and even, even that on-premise migration from monolithic to MSA is even tougher. Our IT guys would not have been able to do that. But with the help of ADS, with all these services, we were able to think about and start moving little by little those services to microstructure, microservices structure one by one. And secondly, governance and security. As a financial company, data security is utmost important thing. But there's always a trade-off between security and usability. Now, that's, that, that was a, always a hurdle for us to move fast in the market. But with the help of AWS, and they've been working with the local financial companies, so they know all the resources, and they, they've been lobbying with the regulators. So we got a lot of help by working with them, with the, starting from Control Tower, and all the uh, KMS and stuff that we were able to make move nimble in the market. Lastly, managed service. It's a tip of an iceberg, right? So introducing a software to our legacy system, it's just like an iceberg, where on the outward, it looks pretty simple. You install it, make it work, right? But it's not, right? We all know all the headaches from operating, upgrading, debugging, troubleshooting, it's just a nightmare, right? But with the help of AWS's managed service, our IT team was able to focus on how we can serve better our customers, rather than thinking about the operation and all the laborers 
uh, jobs. Now let me share the business values that we've been able to create together with AWS. So we've been able to collect potential customers that is double the number of our policy holders. And then the new business that came from the app, that platform, doubled over the years. And then the VOMB, value of new business, which means uh, it's like a lifetime value equivalent of the of insurance. And then that divide by all those nickel and dimes that we've been paying out as a reward and marketing cost, that's about five times six times, six, 5.6 times. So all of these achievements would not be able to achieve without AWS's help. So to sum up, Kyobo Life Planet is a digital full stack life insurance company and with the help of AWS's cloud technology, we're gonna go abroad with this InsureTech platform where we think it's a proven platform that, that generates engagement and that can help other life insurance companies sell more insurances online. Thank you for listening. I was Christian.